And a chicken fried rice. Look at the tires. Can't climb the ladder without hurting yourself. 89% pork. <laughs> oh my god. Hello and welcome back to the channel. We're in the van, we're in the boat road today, aren't we? We're out. Hello. We've got out at last. Yes, it was um the road has all been gritted, so we're actually out. Yeah, yeah. Oh god, it feels so good to be back. We're a week before Christmas. It's about zero degrees outside. Yeah. Uh, threatening snow. The roads are absolutely filthy. The van is filthy. But where we're we going? We're going to the seaside. The week before Christmas, like you do. I have got zero presents, so we're on uh, what's what do you call it? A mission of mercy. Um, a mad to, dash. We're going to Poundland. I'm going to Poundland to get <laughs> some stuff for you. You better bloody not do. So we've got loads and loads of presents to buy today. This is the worst bit about Christmas I think. I hate buying presents for everybody, but I love giving them to people when they're on Christmas day, so it's gotta be done. We've got a park up planned for the bus during the day. We're gonna, we've got, I've got some motorhome parking, so yeah. we'll show you where that is. And we're looking at a pub stop for tonight. So we'll show you both of those. Just started raining bloody typical we had snow last week so let's go so it's less than a week till Christmas and we're not organized are you organized because we're not so yeah this trip we're gonna have to get some serious presents I am NOT organized at all this year I don't know why it just seems to have crept on us really really quickly doesn't it yeah yeah the, the roof of the motor has been absolutely covered thick with snow um, and I've just checked now and the snow's blown off and we're getting a little bit of charge even though it's miserable and grey so that's alright isn't it Lisa? Need all the power we can get! So this is the motorhome parking we're on about I'm not sure if you can stop here overnight, we'll have to look into that, but I don't yeah, think I would can. want to because it's on a main road. Uh, but look at this, it's empty. Come in the summertime, it's a different story, isn't it? You've come all the way down here and the parking machine's right up there, Mark, you can have a walk. Oh, we'll come back. <laughs> oh, really? Are we stopping at this one? Yeah, because yeah, the town's just over there, yeah? that's right. where I want to go and do some shopping. Yeah, it's a nice big car park right next to uh, Blackpool Football Club. Let's go and see how much it is now and if they reduce it for winter stairs. Just pull it for a At least we're not fighting for a space, are we? No. They it's... could make stuff like this, they could make a real good like air company here, be all this here and build something up so it's secure, put a water point and a toilet point and it'd be spot on, wouldn't it? Well, it's better than there's nothing. There's a lot of towns that need to do a lot of things for motor homes, but they're missing out really. Yeah. Well, we're not staying here tonight, are we? So no, we're no. It's back and beyond, isn't it? Towers. I'll just put my wipers on. Towers over there, as you can see. Uh, it's a bit of a walk, isn't it? It's about a ten minutes walk, is it? Something like that. Yeah. yeah. Let's go find out these what these charges are. So this car park's called the Seasiders Way, and there's the charges. So what we're looking at? Three hours. Will that be enough? I don't know if we want to pay seven pound for six. And spies tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Motorhomes. Must be a winter rate, yeah. Motorhomes, look. Oh, right, there we go then. So it does pay to use these apps sometimes because, believe it or not, you can pay an, an admin fee, but that saved us a bit because we'd be paying 24 hour. We'd be paying that one, wouldn't we? But it's doing it at the coach yeah, rate. Yeah, so if it? you go on the app, it gives you a completely different rate. Well, it gives us a winter coach rate, which we're after. This is here all the time. Mm. Your, your app gets updated all the time, doesn't it? And the good thing about your app is when you're out and about and you think you're going to run over your time, you can just up, uh, add some more time onto it, can't you, Mark? We've yeah, done that a few yeah. times. So I'm just going to pay for it now. That's not bad, that. £6.80. No, six eh? Yeah, we have the option to stay in here, which we don't think we will. No, but we, we, as you, you know. can see, you're in the middle of nowhere. It's all right, we'll go and park up the other end now, save his legs a little bit. So Mark's decided to fetch the jacket that's letting water in, so he's bought some waterproofing stuff what's it called yeah performance repel plus so. so he's gonna spray his jacket like you do on the street 
Do you want me to spray you back? You're probably supposed to do it from a distance. You've let yourself through. <laughs> right, you're done. Man's not as dirty as I thought it would have been. Oh, she's dirty though. Look at this. Well, not as dirty as you. That's a mess, isn't it? Look at the tyres. Uh, they so need a buff up. It's the only thing about winter travel, isn't it? The bus gets absolutely filthy. Are you waterproof now? I think, think so, yeah. I just hope it'll dry before. That'll do, won't it? Shall we get going? Yeah. Let's go and spend some money. So there we are, all parked up seaside as way in Blackpool. Have a look for that because I think the prices are quite re reasonable. Oh, God. Do you want to be Spider Man or something in Unbelief? Yeah. What is it with that hat? Just put that on. <laughs> Spider Man. Well, that's what you look like, Spider Man with your mask on. Oh, can you see that up in air? Oh, well, your camera can't pick that up. Look, can you see it flying over there. It's that uh, Sky Rider. I am not. Can forget that, my gym boy. I ain't going on anything like Why that. Not? Can you imagine how cold it is up there? I could film that. Oh, no. I think it's about £10 a person, isn't it? Mm. £10 a person to get spun round and get cold. Not for me, I don't think. So, just in case if you're wondering where this exotic location is where we've come to, this week we're in Blackpool, not so sunny Blackpool. Uh, miserable, wet, grey, and oral freezing cold Blackpool. Blackpool has a good shopping centre, so that's why we like coming here. Yeah. Because where we live, it's rubbish. Yeah. Uh, it's had a bit of a slating of late as Blackpool. There's nothing wrong with Blackpool. We'll Blackpool is, it's, it is what you get. Yeah. Rock, candy floss, pleasure beach. And if you don't like that kind of thing, then don't come to Blackpool. But, but there is a nice Chinese buffy, isn't there? Uh, I want to go and try it at some point. Or you can eat buffy. Well, buffy, I think it's called Lisa or something, isn't it? Great. We're just walking past this pile and as things are dropping off it left, right and centre. I'm wondering what we're going on. But I don't know if you can see up there, there's actually a man. He's actually fixing some onto it. God, he must be freezing. Uh, he must be repairing something, but he keeps dropping stuff off it and it's banging and clanging. There's another one at the bottom there. So just at the end of the car park, it used to be massive, they've actually taken it all up. There's a big massive complex going to be built. Uh, they've taken the police station away, haven't they? Yeah, there's a it's... new one somewhere in there, police station. I hope so, there should be. Uh, yeah, you can just see the tower. I, I hope that's not snow coming in those clouds behind us. Can you see them? No, it's just rain, it's warmed up, hasn't it? Yeah. So, so yeah, multi-million pound complex, but I'm worried about where everyone's going to park in the summer when they come to visit. Yeah, I know. But, but that's going to take up a lot of the parking spaces down here. Looks like something in Russia. It does, doesn't it? That's scary because it must have taken at least, what, 2,000 spaces there? Oh well. Right, so we're going the long way around and it's raining again. So we didn't get right far, it started pouring down outside. So we've just seen this cafe as we've been coming down from the car park where we just showed you. Uh, it's right opposite Central Pier and it's got a big massive Frenchy dog on the front, hasn't it? Mm. So well, what's Bulldog. that? It's a dog friendly cafe. Mm. The only time we don't fetch Woody. Every time we fetch him we can't get anywhere. The menu's good. What have you mm. gone for? Cheese on toast. Seeing as he didn't get it last week in his favourite cafe in Waller. I've gone for a sausage bap. Loads of dog treats sell everything for dogs here. What's it called? Cafe Chico. Cafe Chico? Yeah. Sausage and egg, 4.25. All right, sitting in, isn't it? Yeah, with and I've coffee. And i got cheese on toast, which was uh, 3.25. All right, look at that. Nice thick bread. Yeah. Get stuck in.
Wow, we're just cutting through Coral Island and you won't believe it's a week before Christmas and everyone's putting the money in slots, aren't they? I mean, it's supposed to be a, a cost of living crisis in the world. I mean, it is rubbish weather outside, but this part is the over this is the 18, over 18 the casino. That's why it's quiet, isn't it? Tree, but I know that we haven't got the money to put in it in bandits. Have a look at this. <laughs> Christmas by the sea. Let's go and have a look what it entails. Let's go and get some food. So Mark wants to go out skating, don't you? He wants a penguin. <laughs> Are you gonna get a penguin to hold on to? Yeah, I, I would do. not let you go on there. You can't climb the ladder without hurting yourself. Diesel heater on that we can hear it churning anyway. Wowzers. So we've made it to our destination of the shovels. It's a Green King Cup Green King pub. I haven't even had a wine yet. Yeah. So we're gonna nip in now. Obviously, if you're gonna stop here, please go in and have some food. That is one of the stipulations of doing a motorhome stop or yeah. in a pub. Uh, you must go and support the pub by buying drinks or having an evening meal uh, or breakfast if they do a breakfast. So we're gonna do that now. And we're probably going to pick you guys up again in the morning because I intend to have quite a few wines tonight. A few moments later. <laughs> right, oh. change of plan. Um, we found a Chinese down the road. We've just been in the shovels. It's really, really it's busy. It's really busy, dead noisy. People are coughing and spluttering, aren't they? And stuff. Yeah, there's a little girl next to our table and she's just coughing everywhere. I'm not saying she's got COVID, but it's not something I want just before Christmas. Plus, it is really cold in there. We've not even took our coats off. No. And We've stopped for, I've had a wine and Mark's done the, the best idea and he had a Pepsi because yeah. he had a bad feeling about it. So what we're going to do is... We've found a Chinese down the road, haven't we? Abbey Road Chinese, it's the best in Blackpool, so they say. So we're going to go and buy everything, aren't we? No, we're not. Oh, okay. We're going to go and see what we can get to eat. And we do know of somewhere, we're going to see if there's any spaces. We've left it a bit late in the day, but mm -hmm. let's go and see what we can find. We found it, Abbey Street Chinese in Blackpool. Um, I've been left to come and pick it up because Mark's too cold and he's also having to turn the van around because the road outside is yay wide. We've only just got down it, but it'll do anything for a Chinese, you know what it's like. Lisa's in the Chinese, I'll come back to the van because it's absolutely freezing. 
uh, whose idea was it to come to Blackpool? Uh, it's about two degrees outside looking at the thermometer. So she's in the Chinese. We've ordered some food. Uh, we've got a munch box, a big massive munch box and some chicken fried rice. So um, without further ado, I'm going to turn the van around. So we're facing the right way. We're going to head up to a car park uh, down the road near Livam uh, for the night. And we're going to have some food there. Oh my God, this food smells amazing. He's going to be buzzing. Look, he's got the lights on ready. He's waiting. Oh, I can hardly lift this box. It's so blinking heavy. <laughs> He's got a big cheesy smile on his face. You better lift this off me, it's well heavy. Oh, I like it when it's heavy. Oh my God. Jesus, about two stone, isn't it? It is. You're gonna weigh about two stone more when you've had it. There you go. What's that? Three prawn crackers. Oh, come on, let's go get parked up and get the Chinese. <laughs> Oh my god, he's not even eating it yet. Let's go. So it's time for the Chinese. Look at that, look. Chinese time. Good size of this. That's just one box, isn't it? That's just it's mine. like an Amazon delivery. That's just mine. They've isn't actually it? sellotaped it up, Mark. Yeah. This is exciting, this. Is this your first Christmas present? Yeah. Are you ready? OMG. Compared to the size of my hand, it's massive. Keep me going for a bit. <gasps> and you weren't happy with just having that. Mm, okay, that's all the chili chips. Bag of prawn crackers. Oh my goodness, it's massive. And a chicken fried rice. Mm, look at, that. Look at the chicken in that. It's alright, isn't it? Oh my god. Happy birthday to me again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we found the park up. We'll show you what it's like in the morning. It's pitch black out there at the minute. Uh, we'll give you the directions how to get here. Bit of drama when we just parked up, but we'll tell you all about it when we're starving and we're tired. So we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. We found our park up last night. It's called Fairlawn Road in St Anne's. It's about a 15 minute walk into the actual town bit further for Blackpool but it's a lovely little stretch of road that goes straight onto the beach it was so quiet last night really quiet but then around about half past eight the dog walkers hit <laughs> so it's just like a stream of cars at the moment we're watching them coming and going someone's decided to come with a whistle this morning for the dog so yeah we're up we're just about to have breakfast and then we're going to have a mooch into the town, I think, and see what's there. It's a really, really good park up, apart from getting woke up early in the morning. If you don't mind that, it, you'll be fine here. It's so quiet at night time. So let's get breakfast on. So, and it won't fly, it was just when he went forward, it was just blowing away. God, when Panicking. you said that, then the wind's got it. I thought, yeah. where are we going to find that now? Yeah, be careful, it's really slippery. He's just come running back to the van saying to me, my drone's gone, it's lost, it's been blown away. So, after that bit of drama with drone, I've still not made any breakfast, so we're going to head into Lytham St. Anne's and see if we can get somewhere to eat or at least park up and make something. Are you actually hungry after all that? I bet you felt sick. Oh, I'm alright now. <laughs> starving now. Can I eat the rest of my Chinese? No. Believe you me, we've got a lot left. Parked up just down the road, Lee, haven't we? Five minutes down the yes. road. Um, you can't write see much. Got another sea view. Well, you can't see the sea. It's like misty in it and cold. But it's parked up on the on the front, really, isn't it? Opposite Livam Green, which is uh, renowned for the um live and green festivals every year so yeah and because it started sleeting and snowing i'm not going to go walking around just yet but we're hungry so got the ridge monkey out the ridge monkey is great for doing this because i'm going to put we're having spam spam mm -mm -mm. lovely spam butties spam and egg butties 
so I can put spam in one and egg in the other and they'll cook at the same time mm. so I'm having to mess around reheating one while the other one's cooking and we're not using the induction hob because we can't be bothered <laughs> getting it all out. No, this just, just for, takes five minutes in here. Still yeah. got gas, this is what I say. Oh, they already cut. Hey, hey, look at that bonus. Oh, I went to cut them. Um, yeah, so that's the thing with induction hobs and all that stuff. It's all right, but we still kept the gas stove and everything, the gas top on. So, it, you know, we, we use LPG, it's refillable, so it's not that much money. Yeah, it's nice to have an option very nice to have an option at least we can decide which one we want to use and in this case it's going to be good old gas who else likes spam put in the comments below we do different sorts don't we like a spicy spam and a low salt spam this is just a regular one mark's a bit fussy with his eggs he likes his um very very well done <coughs> whereas i don't Good old paper plates. Thank you to all the people that let me know exactly where they were. No shortage, shortage of paper plates because we've got some now for a quick and easy breakfast. No washing up, and then you can get on with your adventure for the day. Who can remember the debate we used to have before? What you're going to have on it? Red or brown? I'm having no sauce on it. No sauce. I like the taste of spice. Well, that's the debate over and done with you then, isn't it? Yeah. I'm definitely. A tomato sauce girl. Just having a discussion about this spam. Mark's been reading the can, and there's more meat in that than there is in normal sausages that we get, isn't there? Mm. So you've got 89% pork, 2% ham. So that's 91% meat in that can. <clears throat> we can't get sausages with all that meat content. Well, even if in you it. get these farm ones and stuff, or you go to Tesco's and get the super deluxe ones, it'd be about 60 or 70% pork, aren't they? So well, for convenience, though, you could have those in your cupboard. And mm. what's the date, best before date on it? 2025. And how many times have we come away with sausages mm. and not had them, and we've had to throw them because they're in the fridge? Mm. Sometimes we've had our freezer that's gone off or it's not worked right, and mm. the, we've lost all the frozen stuff, but that. I don't think we'll get any sausages anymore because that is so quick to cook because it's cut we cut it quite thin don't we <coughs> i'll tell you what you can get as well but it's probably too much for us but you can get big catering packs of it as well yeah but once it's you're gonna have a lot of waste there that's just for two people that's just done breakfast but you can get something called bacon grill as well can't you that's exactly the same but i don't know what the contents are in there but makes you think doesn't it what, what do you use do you, do you like spam yeah, Do comments you like below. Bacon grill? <laughs> Do you like Chinese like me? Had to buy Mark a present because I didn't want him to feel left out. Are you ready for this? Matching pom pom hats. Yay! Do you like your hat, Mark? Yeah, it's right. Are you sure? Yeah. Your pom pom does come off, you know. I know it comes off, doesn't it? I can take it off. So if it starts raining, we can take them off. Love it! Matching. I think I've just found the best tree I've seen this season. Look at that. That's not out of elf, isn't it, Mark? Yeah. But guess what kind of shop it's in? And it's oh. not a sweet shop. Well, you'd think so, which sweet is. Guess what it is? <laughs> it's a dentist. Oh, look at these. We were on about these last weekend, well, weren't yeah, we? To buy them. £12, make your own reef. We all... Oh, it smells lovely. Really nice. You use them for anything, can't you? What's it called? Bags full of Christmas. Bags full of Christmas. We're a good idea. Well, we've made it back to the van. It's just got too cold, hasn't it, to walk round? Freezing. Freezing. Huh? My hands, fingers are falling off. Um, we, yeah, we've just been um, mobbed by our friends, Tracy and Andy, that spotted us walking down the street. Hi, both. Lovely to see you again. Uh, so I think we're going to end this vlog here guys, um, it's getting very close to Christmas so we want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a fantastic New Year. We're off to Scotland for New Year so watch out for those vlogs coming your way. So for now we're going to leave it here, if you've liked what you've seen, if you don't already subscribe, I don't know why but hit the subscribe yeah, button sure subscribe. <laughs> and leave us a comment what you think about spam. I'm very intrigued to see how many people are interested in it or already eating it. So until next time guys, Merry Christmas and see you in the new year. Merry Christmas. I
Take only what you 